and welcome to my channel. I'm on today with more of the 31 days of easy peasy painty papers. It's a series that I'm following from Betsy Doodle here on YouTube. I'll link Betsy Doodle down below. Now this is a, a series of techniques that anybody can do. It's aimed at beginners but you can get some really nice results. And I've been using these B&M paints. It's $5.99 for 18, 18 mixed paints and there's different styles. There's paralyzed paints, there's neon paints and other colours. So this is ideal for using for the painted papers. I've also been using these kind of paints from B&M at £2 a tube. These have been given good results as well. And also my metallic paints are from Asta. So these were cheap as well. I've had these ones for a good few years. So this is what I've been using throughout the series. And we're now on six Days 16, 17, 18 and 19 were all based on making marks on your papers with household objects. Now I didn't have the same objects as Dee and it doesn't matter. She's, she went and told us to find some uh, other stuff if we didn't have it. So so check. remember to check out Dee uh, as Betsy Doodle. Uh, and see what she's been using. I'll show you mine. My first try was with this bit of crochet lace. I didn't really make the marks that I was expecting, but I, I like this result that I got. It reminds me a bit of kind of rock, kind of stone. I used the metallic gold in metallic copper, the metallic silver, and this burnt umber to get this effect. It doesn't really show the pattern of the lace, and I got my, my fingers very messy with this one, but I'm quite happy with this result here. Next up, I tried a clothes peg. I tried it doing it like that and that way as well and also clipping it like unclipping and unclipping to make three different styles of marks and here's the results here i did do them on white paper actually uh, a4 white paper but i didn't like the background so i thought it was too stark I liked the marks it was making, but the white background just didn't suit it, I thought. So I thought I'd try Distress Inks to colour the background. So I picked Raspberry and Mustard Seed of the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And I liked, I liked that result much better. I think they're both nicer than the white was. Then I tried some toilet rolls. I, I tried squashing a toilet roll, so we've got some more oval and some round shapes. This is the, the burnt umber again and the lemon yellow. And I think it was the copper out of the B&M set. So I quite like this one as well. Next I tried using the golden syrup tin circles there. I also included some of the, the bottom of drinks can and also this tray that the Ferrero, Ferrero, sorry, Ferrero Rocher chocolates came in. So Mm, these are uh, these next few papers are the results of that. Oops. 
quite a messy one that one <laughs> And this one again I had done in the white paper and I didn't like it so I've done the picked raspberry and the mustard seed and I also used some spiced marmalade on the background again I used this but I was getting a different result with this and this one that I did on this one is the circles that made there are more solid than this one whereas this one is giving me a kind of den a dendritic print you see that some some fancy patterns inside the, the circles I quite like that one now that it's been coloured with the ink in the background Use the same in this one like this one, this um, a bright orange card and the black paint, yellow paint and red paint It's quite striking that one, I think. And here's a totally different effect which was made by this again. And this 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 one was made only by this a uh, chocolate tray. But I had started off on, on a pale grey background and the colours I was choosing I didn't like seen the background before uh, through it so I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going <laughs> so there's layer upon layer upon layer of paint on this one until I got a result that I quite liked but you can't tell at all that it was made by circles <laughs> actually you can see a, a wee butterfly there a butterfly and that looks like a bird as well <laughs> Uh, I probably couldn't do that again if I tried so this one's going to be quite nice for autumnal projects and the next thing I tried was this packaging I thought it was quite interesting packaging and this was the first one I've got it's on a cream background with the teal coloured paint, burnt umber and I think that was copper I used either copper or gold, I think it was the copper one from the B&M set and uh, I did it both ways, that way and then that way And then in the second one of that, I prepared this one, done that one in, on a beige card and it's got metallic, the Asta metallic silver, metallic gold and I think it's got the B&M copper as well and the B&M burnt umber. So I really quite like this one. So that takes us from day 16 to day 19 with me, uh, finding things to make marks with. Um, day 20 was again using textured wallpaper which we had before in the series but I don't have any textured wallpaper the day that she'd done the textured wallpaper in the series before she'd suggested using embossing folders so I went and did some embossing folders as well uh, and day 20 was 
to use metallic paints with black background. Now I'm kind of running out of black paper but I've got several different dark colours of cards so I thought I'd try them just and it would give me just about the same result. It shows nice up with the metallic paint. Uh, this one is done by the, the Diamond Argyle Pattern and Embossing Folder. I like this bit down here and here. This bit's got a bit too much silver paint on it. I like this part here. Again, using the same materials and things, I'm getting different results and diff using the same things. But uh, it's really interesting to see what you get, what you get, come up with, you know. Just don't try doing the exact same <laughs> and expecting the same results. I like this one. This one's the... Uh, gold on black card with the argyle print again you can pick it up good here got some dendritic, dendritic prints going on here with the paint and this one's on a dark green background with a mixture of gold and silver the argyle pattern is showing up good here. Again, we've got some dendritic prints going on here. I really like uh, the metallic paints on dark colours. And then I changed over to the to my new embossing folder with the cogs on it, kind of steampunk style. I've got four, four of them using the same same paints, same coloured card and I've got four different results here. <laughs> so this one, they're all done on a very 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 dark brown card. This one I've done with gold only you can pick up the steampunk quite well here. Loving this one. Then you've got this one, which doesn't really pick up the steampunk very well at all. You can hardly see it. I don't think you're going to see it in, through the camera at all. It's got a mixture of gold and silver. Still nice, but not as not the effect I was looking for. <laughs> this one's got, a, I think it's silver underneath gold. But it's mainly gold on the brown card again. And this one's getting given the prints better. You, know, you can see the cogwheel quite clearly there. I, I was pressing down quite hard on the paper to get this effect. I think I've got my fingerprint <laughs> here, <laughs> fingerprints here. <laughs> Uh, that is quite a nice one. And here's another mixed one with silver and gold. There's quite a few dendritic prints going on at the bottom here. Again, this one, you can't really see the cogs as well. You can see the cogs up this corner. Still happy with the, the with the effects. And it look nice, cut up into different 
projects. So that's me up to date. Well, today I haven't done today's. Today's is dendritic printing again with metallic paints on black card. So I'll come back with them and a few days time and I uh, hope you'll join me next time. Thank you. Please give this video a like and tell me in the comments what which ones you like the best. Thank you. Bye bye.